What's up, Fox Trotters? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Maybe consider subscribing before you leave today. If you're returning, hello. So nice to see you all again. You guys look great. Yes, you person who is absolutely stunned that it's February 4th. I know, me too. Last I checked, it just became January. I don't know what's going on. It's all a blur. You look great. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I'm so excited to bring to you an r slash anti MLM extravaganza. It's been a few days. I've been super busy with school and work and life and family stuff. And you guys have been just fantastic and super patient. So thank you. Also, thank you for your continuing patience with me figuring out this audio situation. I understand it is still a little tinny and ringy sounding. I've hung up some blankets, but they can only do so much as I sit in the middle of the living room. But I have some big plans coming up to fix that in the future. <laughs> so that's exciting. Anyways, if you would like to look at some r slash anti MLM trash with me, then uh, stay tuned. Okay, so with this post, it's kind of hard to tell who's who in the story, uh, just the way that it's written. You'll see what I mean as we go on, but I still think the story's worth sharing regardless. I thought I'd share my secret Santa exchange gift. I joined my friend's holiday party and gift exchange, but the person that drew my name ended up working. She wasn't the only one that couldn't make it, so no biggie. We all still had a great time. My friend came by with a gift she ended up dropping off after New Year's. We opened it up, and it's a bunch of Mary Kay samples. Some of them opened and used. I'm very sensitive and have allergies, so I'm really picky about makeup and skincare, and just from opening the bag and looking at it, I start getting hives on my hands. My friend's upset. She texted her to tell her that she expected better. So this is what I mean, where I got confused, who's who, but it doesn't really matter. And that this was not appropriate. There was a very strict no open or use products and no MLM rule for the exchange. And she said, all that product added up is well over $25. It's more like $70. And she could sell it if she didn't like it. I didn't expect someone to be so ungrateful over a free gift. Whoa. <laughs> I'm not selling a bunch of used and outdated samples. She's asked to be included in her Valentine's Day party and gift exchange. So I've set it up and she's getting all these back as her gift. Oh, <laughs> well played. That's really tacky uh, for a gift exchange. And you give people samples and not just samples, but used and opened samples. I mean... Ugh. I'll let like sometimes if I go buy like a, a piece of makeup and I don't end up loving it or something within the first few days of, of having it, you know, I'll give it to one of my friends or something if they like it. But that's like they know me. They trust me. We kind of have that understanding. And it certainly wouldn't be for a secret Santa gift. It's just like, hey, I bought this. Didn't work for me. Maybe you'll like it. You know, um, I don't know. Let's go ahead and take a look at the samples that were sent. I have a little picture of what those samples are. So let's go ahead and uh, see this $70 worth of makeup from Mary Kay. <laughs> I'm sure it's amazing. Wow. She's really out here trying to pretend this is $25 worth of stuff. No, not just $25. Actually worth $70. Um, no. I don't think so. And it has those really terrible cheap samples. You see the ones that are in the top right. Um, those are just, I've gotten something like that before. It wasn't a Mary Kay product. I think it was in like an ancient birch box. And they sent us one of the free samples, like a, an eyeshadow sampler. And it kind of looked like that. And it was just what looked like little watercolor dots of something on a piece of paper and you rub your finger on that little tiny patch of color and that's your sample. I mean, <laughs> as far as samples go, it's probably some of the cheapest samples I've ever seen. Oh no, $25, no way. I think it's pretty funny though that she set this up so that this woman gets all of these samples back. <laughs> oh no. I mean, I hope that doesn't cause any drama, right? Don't don't unnecessarily cause drama, but uh, I I did think this was pretty clever, and I chuckled at the thought of her opening her package and seeing her used samples inside of it. <laughs> Not interested in football? Now's the perfect time to buy more Sensi while he's distracted. <sighs> I really dislike how these various MLMs are trying to normalize being deceptive to your partner. <laughs> I 
just I can't get over that right like we saw the LuLaRoe thing they had something like a box you could check upon checkout that says uh to label it as a free gift just in case you're in trouble with your husband because you've been spending too much money on LuLaRoe well, this is the same kind of thing. It's just encouraging deception. It's just a way for the company to guarantee that they're always going to have income, that their that their downlines are always going to be buying more product and more product and more product because they just keep encouraging this environment where it's okay to just go and blow all the finances, every last bit of it, on some wax melts. And I have heard some of you say down below in the comments that you guys unabashedly enjoy Sensi. And that's fine. We've already talked about it. Everybody has their things that they may like or not like, and everybody's different. I have just heard, I have just heard through the grapevine that there are more affordable wax melts that exist elsewhere that are comparable in quality. Um, I can't exactly confirm that as I am not someone who purchases wax melts, but it's just something I've heard. So I don't know. Maybe if you're into Sensi, uh, maybe check out something else but I don't know if you really like it and there's like a smell that you get from them that you can't find anywhere else and it makes you happy well darn it I don't want you to not be happy so you know MLMs are not small businesses hello I know this has been discussed before but I just really need to share this frustration my mom and I went to a local market yesterday and we were so happy to share the space with so many other people who came out to market and network but my god the Sensi and Arbon booths at the local small business marketplace were so out of place. Not only this, but the Arbon girl came and tasted our cupcakes and told us the flavors were overpowering and they were too sweet. But in the most saccharine sweet way, it almost sounded like a compliment. I can't get her annoying voice out of my head. Maybe they tasted sweet to a person who does nothing but 30-day tea fasting cleanses and eats nothing but artificially sweetened protein powder. But... We use half the sugar in all aspects of our baking, and we know for a fact our dessert flavors are balanced. Finally, at least our desserts were actually made by us and not a multi-million dollar corporation. Get out of here with criticism. You literally are a shill. Please. Thank you. This has been my rant. Well, if it's any comfort or consolation at all, just know, OP, that you are not the only one who is frustrated by this. Um, you have a lot of us behind you on this one. And I do think it is odd that the Arbon Hun dared to say anything about how your homemade food tasted bad. Like, like you pointed out, at least you guys were the ones who made it. You know exactly the ingredients that went into it, which is way more than that Arbon Hun can say about the products that go into making her ridiculous fake sweetened protein powders that they're always bragging about, like $75 a bag for protein powder. <laughs> no, thank you. A Thrive Boss Babe's real earnings over the past two years. Oh, no. Oh, wow. In 2018, this individual made $59, you guys. Fifty nine. Oh, sorry. Fifty nine dollars and seventeen cents. And then in twenty nineteen, they were able to double that, which I guess good, good job. So they made one hundred and eighteen dollars for the year. I mean, as far as side jobs goes and or, or side hustles in general, that's a pretty crappy one. I mean, <laughs> go get yourself a part time job at a restaurant and you will make actual money uh you will make that much in a shift so i just how can they get away with saying that this is supplemental income i mean i i get it i i am a person who does not have a lot of money i never have been so for my broke self you know 118 dollars is actual money to me that's a real amount of money but over the course of a year like what you had to go through to get that money and that's not factoring in how much you spent either. Ah, it's just miserable. What did we expect? Of course it's miserable. Well, if anyone has ever wondered, um, how do these Huns treat each other? Like, let's say if they have a downline or something, how do, how do they treat them? I, I'm sure they always treat them fine. Totally. Oh, wait. Ella meow. My one and my downlines. Wow. That <laughs> already just so well written. 
Lamel, my one of my downlines just blocked me because I was rude to her. I'm the reason you're in this business, blank. So I am gonna blank. Make sure you're taken out of it and nobody buys from you. So you're stuck MMP for the rest of your time. Cool. Don't buy products from blank. She's a snake. Wow. You're really cool for doing that. Way to take the high road, man. That's definitely going to make you look good in the end. Definitely, man. Mm-hmm. I can't see anything wrong with this. No, that seems fine. Yeah. Just go ahead and unprofessionally attack someone on a social media platform because of something that's probably really dumb. And maybe you deserved it. <laughs> Maybe you were rude to her. I mean, not maybe. Why is it even a maybe? Look at this post you just wrote. Obviously, you were rude to her. I don't blame her. And I had to blur out some nasty cuss words that you said to this person as well on social media. Just a real class act. <laughs> yeah, you're going to feel really good about that in a few years. Mm -hmm. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here, so I need your help. <laughs> but the person in gray is apparently not a consultant, but the way they're talking and responding to the person in blue makes me really suspicious. Did you give my name to an MLM person? Not that I'm aware of. She's a Mary Kay consultant who is a friend of a friend. You're like the third person who's texted me, so I'm worried she's going through my Facebook and finding people. Oh, that's weird. My cell isn't on my Facebook, but yeah. Mary Kay is an MLM. What is MLM? I feel like when they phrase it, the question that way, what is MLM? Nine times out of 10, they know exactly what an MLM is. Multi-level marketing. It's the technical word for pyramid scheme. I don't know how she's getting it because friends from high school are getting it too. It's so weird. Yeah, it is so weird, especially since they're your friends from your Facebook. That's really weird. And also I haven't had Facebook in ages and the caption above this that the OP posted said that that's not how Facebook works. And regardless if that is or is not how Facebook works, the person in gray makes me feel so suspicious. Like the, the way the information was pitched, um, the way they asked the question, what is MLM? <laughs> And then they just finished it with, it's so weird. Like, yeah, yeah, it is. You sure you don't know anything else about it? No? Yeah, all right. My sister is a waitress and got this. Then the same guy tried to do it again. She now refuses to serve him. I swear, I keep seeing this and maybe it's because I am a server and I work in the industry. Be when I see this, it fills me with such a level of rage. <laughs> Anyone out there who works in the industry, who works any kind of, well, customer service in general, but especially service industry, you know, like waiting tables, uh, bartending, any, any of that stuff where you're right on the front line, so to speak. Um, your tips are your money. That is your paycheck. Uh, in many states, you make very little hourly. In some states, like where I live, Oregon, you get minimum wage, which is great, I know, but the cost of living is getting higher, and it's a whole thing. I could go on and on about it, I'm sure. But a lot of states have very low uh, minimum wages uh, for, for people in the service industry. Like when I lived in Arizona, I think my average hourly wage might have been just under $4.00. And then I lived in Boston for a while and I waited tables out there and I think I got about 263 an hour, uh, which means that when you get your paycheck, it just says void. This has been used for your taxes and you don't get a paycheck. It just says zero. <laughs> and you kind of laugh. Haha, <laughs> nice. But for people who depend on their tips for their paycheck, this is cruel. I mean, this is this is cruel. Yeah. OK, 100 bucks is a ridiculous tip to put down. I understand that. But to not put any tip down and then to put down something that looks like a really big tip, but then it's just a business card saying, hey, come sell for what is this? Paparazzi, 500 per month family to meet necessary. Do it doesn't even matter. Oh, it works, itworks.com, there it is. 
Took me a second, but I found it. I mean, frankly, it doesn't actually matter. Wouldn't matter what MLM you're with, or even if you're not an MLM, any business at all, don't ever do this. Shout out to username Jame Incorporated for making this post. My aunt wouldn't take no for an answer, so I tried to restrain myself and communicate my seriousness as nicely as possible. When I complain to my father, he expects me to just accept it so as not to alienate my family. So frustrating. Okay, so the text got cut off a little bit, but we'll go ahead and start reading it. So it looks like it says something in public Facebook posts pushing these products either. Regardless of the faith-based mission or the supposed integrity of this particular company, the fact of the matter is that MLM track records are absolutely stained with bad examples, and I personally believe strongly that many more people lose money from these endeavors than make it. Well, it's a good belief that you have that because not only is it something you strongly believe, but it's also true. It's just factually very true. Once again, I do not wish you bad fortune, and if this works for you, so be it. But our familial relationship shouldn't automatically enlist me as a potential business partner. Wow, put that on a shirt. I love that. We talk twice a year, and I haven't seen you in over five. The first time I hear your voice for more than two minutes in half a decade shouldn't be because you're excited for me to try coffee. Have a great day. Well, I think your response is wonderful. It, Like you said, it's very kind. It really is. It's very gentle. And I do like how you kind of play to the family role. You know, you kind of play to the better angles there. Um, better angels, <laughs> better angles. <laughs> Don't at me. Whichever one it is, you know what I meant. <laughs> But yeah, I really like the part where you say, but our familiar familial relationship shouldn't automatically enlist me as a potential business partner. I mean, that's that's perfect. And that could be for people who are friends with people as well when they join MLMs. You know, a lot of times they assume just because they have friends and family that like them, that those people are automatically going to help them with their business endeavor. You know, and, you know, I feel kind of bad for your dad because maybe he doesn't fully understand kind of how bad these are, these MLMs are, or how deep the hole can be for some people. And I don't know, maybe it's just easier for him to do the head in the sand method. <laughs> but, you know, in time, stuff always comes out in the wash one way or another. Okay, guys, my friend Blank keeps showing these lash picks and I can't take it anymore. This is the best mascara on the planet right now. This is going to give you legendary lashes that everything or everyone is going to be, be talking about. Here's my referral link if you've been wanting to try this too. Josie is the real deal and will hook you up. No pressure. Uh, like the caption says, when you forget to post the referral link, I'm not correcting her. Yeah, no, don't. <laughs> and I edited this one out because I, I don't, I've, I feel kind of funny sometimes showing people's faces on here. Like, I know they posted it publicly on their Facebook or whatever, and then it got posted on Reddit. But... I don't know. I guess I think about it and like I wouldn't necessarily want that for me. But like, I guess if I were putting it out there, that's like my own doing. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about it. Anyway, I edited this one and I drew on a nice smiley mouth so we could see how happy she is. But what I really want to focus on here besides oh her nails. I love her nails. I, I, I purposely didn't color over her nails because <laughs> I like them anyway. But with her eyelashes, you can clearly see that there is either a band that is glued onto her eyelid or those are eyelash extensions. One or the other. There is absolutely no way. I mean, I guess there is a slight possibility, but I'm just going to go ahead and say there is no way that every single one of her eyelashes is exactly the same length naturally. There is no way. <laughs> like I said, I guess it's possible. Is it likely? No. No. Those are not her natural lashes with mascara on them. Please stop lying. Maybe you put mascara onto your extensions. I don't know, but you can't fool me, hun. I, I'm like staring at it. I'm really trying to see if maybe I'm just making this up. But it really doesn't. It look like there's the, that there's a lash band there. Like it looks like the lash. The line looks extra thick above where her lash line starts. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm just making it up and I'm the jerk here, but I'm just I I really feel like that this is fake lashes and not her mascara on her natural lashes 
at all. What's the consensus? What do you guys think down below? Let me know. Oh man, I swear posts about people joining MLMs used to be funny, but the longer it goes on and the more I see, the less I find them funny. <laughs> So I did a thing, a very exciting but very nerve-wracking thing. I started a new journey with an incredible company. I will be representing an incredible health and wellness business that has premium organic plant-based products. What do you guys think? Is it Arbon? It Works? Herbalife? Let me know down below. There, there was nothing written on this one, so I honestly don't know. So your guess is truly as good as mine this time. I never thought I would be that girl that is getting into a pyramid business. Oh, she almost said it. The caption above said a hun almost became self-aware. It's true. She almost had it. <laughs> but I've been watching my friends for years be so successful with it. So I figured, why not now? Instead of having to work three plus jobs going into marriage to make ends meet. Going into marriage. What? That's just, never mind. Why not give something a shot that has already been so successful for so many people? Before you unfollow me, give it a chance. It's worth at least checking out, and I would love to take you on this journey, or, oh, I would love to take on this journey with you. Sorry, the writing in this one is strange. If you are interested at all, comment a party horn or DM me. Oh no, <laughs> the moment where she almost became self-aware though, oh man, it's like watching those unsatisfying videos where someone's like swinging a baseball bat at like a TV and right before they connect with the TV, it cuts to the next clip like, oh, oh no, oh dang it, we almost had it. Let's go ahead and end today's video on a good note, huh? <laughs> it doesn't always happen. Sometimes it does. Can't thank this sub enough. Young Living. After reading pages and pages of horror stories over the years, I never thought my life would be affected by one of the MLM, MLM companies out there. About a month ago, my wife bought oils from Young Living, not the starter kit. She didn't want to be a distributor, just buying some oil through her friend that sells them. Long story short, in the span of a month, She'd spent over $1,200, became a distributor, was planning on attending the Young Living Conference this summer with all her oil friends, and was going to propose to me that I buy a starter kit under, under her to start building her downline. Over that same month, there have been many discussions about keeping it a hobby. If she wants to blow a couple hundred bucks on oil, go for it. I buy Legos, and she doesn't say anything. But it's when she mentioned wanting to include pictures of our child on her Insta posts, as well as using oils on him that I lost it. Well, frankly, that was a good place to stop it at though. Those are pretty big red flags. So well done. This sub gave me the ammunition and information to present to her regarding the lack of FDA approval, pending lawsuits, the BS compensation structure, and just straight up verbiage. She was strongly resistant at first. And then she admitted to me that the irritated patch of skin that I noticed on her face earlier in the day was caused by the oil. She's now in the process of returning all the unopened product and canceling her distributor agreement. During coffee this morning, I could already tell that my wife was back and she recognized her errors. I shared this group with her and she was in awe of all the similar posts to what she had seen. To those that are still in the fight with their spouses, don't give up. <laughs> I'm really glad that we got to read one that ended on a positive note because I feel like, what was it, a couple videos back, maybe a few videos back, there was a story that I read about a marriage that fell apart because of someone's involvement in an MLM and it was really hard to read and um, I don't know it just kind of made everything seem that much more real I, we, we know the consequences like we see them we hear about them but then to really get that kind of real visual from somebody about how their life has fallen apart because of it their marriages etc it's, it's really hard it's difficult it's, uh, it's ugly and um, I don't know I guess I'm just glad to see something end positively for once it's everyone's favorite time of the day. It's wholesome moment of the day. Let's see who you guys sent over. For wholesome moment of the day today, I am going to do something a little bit different for no reason other than I just kind of felt like it. <laughs> so normally in this segment of the video, as most of you know, I show off your wholesome submissions. And this time I decided I want to show off my dogs. <laughs> Honestly, just because I love them so much and they're so special to me and I will continue to always do the wholesome uh, moment of the day at the end with your submissions. I love doing that. 
But I just, today, I just kind of felt like mixing it up. <laughs> so Tippy is the older one of the two. She is about two and a half, and she was a rescue from this elderly couple that lives out on the coast, and they had got her originally as a puppy, and they had a big farm property, and they thought they could take care of her, but they were just too old to be able to give this crazy border collie what she needed and frankly sometimes i wonder if i'm enough too so it's understandable B border collies are a, they're a whole thing <laughs> and then boots oh my god boots he was a rescue from an animal shelter out in i think it was tualatin oregon and um we got him originally at about five months old and he was so small and so scared and now he's just like a big old chunk of goofus and I just love him so much. I love them both. And the fact that they match really was accidental, which you probably don't believe because my cat is also black and white. All of that was accidental. I swear, it <laughs> just happened that way. Anyways, I love them, don't you? They're so cute. And if you're looking to get a new member of your family, I definitely recommend to adopt and not shop. Check out your local shelters, your local humane society. Donate if you can, volunteer if you can, foster if you can, and don't forget to spay and neuter your pets. And if you wanna see a photo of your pets here, then go and send it to my email in my channel description and you will see your pets here eventually. All right, Fox Trotters, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you liked that video, please hit that like button down below. If you have any good comments or suggestions, please leave that down below as well. I love to hear what you have to say, and I love interacting with you all. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button and become a Fox Trotter. Come join the den. Den Mother would love to have you. All right, folks, I hope you got a kick out of that video. I plan on having that unique video out in the next maybe a few days or so. I'll keep you guys updated. But in between then, be on the lookout for an r slash who knows what to fill in the blanks. And I also am working on that subscriber appreciation video that should probably be out maybe at the end of this month, maybe the beginning of next. I will keep you guys updated. Thank you all so much for being so supportive of me and letting me go do my studies and uh, giving me the confidence to take my time where I need it. And you guys are just absolutely wonderful and I am so grateful. All right, folks, as always, until the next video, take care.